Alright, hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to make a nice 3D shatter effect in After Effects. And I used this in my last AMV, and a couple people asked me to make a tutorial. So, for my 19 subscribers, here you go. Um, yeah, and it's the shatter effect you see right here. It's nice shatter, 3D pieces and stuff. That's what we'll be making. Alright, so let's just jump straight into it. Go into After Effects. You do not need this. Make a new composition. Just use the basic settings, whatever you use. Mine is 1280 by 720. Alright, perfect. And the first thing we're going to do is make a new solid. So choose any color you want. I'm going to use red, because red is cool. The color doesn't matter at all. I don't know why I brought it up. But anyway, grab your element from your effects and presets folder and just drop it into your solid. So for this tutorial, you will need element 3D. So just make sure you have it before you watch this. And it's not really hard to get. You can just go on Google and search element 3D free download. And you know, it'll probably show up. That's how I got it. So, you guys can ignore everything here, we're not going to use it yet, just go straight into your scene setup. We'll come back to that after. Alright, so once you're in your scene setup, you're going to need the motion design pack from Element 3D. And this is not free. But YouTube says it's free if you just go on Google and search motion design element 3d free download you will be able to find several YouTube videos showing you how to get it and it just takes a couple seconds so just make sure you have that before we continue this tutorial the next thing is we're gonna go down from the pack motion design and we're gonna find shattered glass or glass shattered or mm. Ah, broken glass. That's what it is. Broken glass. And in here we have some nice squares and rectangles that we will be using. And this is all glass. You just can't see it right now. If you go up here and change this to wireframe, you can see the actual pieces of glass. So you can choose any one that you like. But I'm going to use the second one because it's around the same size as our comp, 1280 by 720. So after we have this, we're going to go add a reflection in the background. So go to environment under, no, yeah, just click this button here, this image, and we're going to change it. So you'll have a bunch of these, but we're going to go into our local disk program files. Okay, only do this if you have the optical flares plugin for After Effects. Otherwise, you don't need to do this. You can find an image on Google or some other texture that you want to use. But if you do have optical flares, go down into your optical flares plugin folder. You'll find optical flare textures and glass. So just click on glass and use one of these that you see here. So I'm going to use DAG. <laughs> just DAG. Just DAG because who knows why. And immediately you'll see this nice sort of spotted reflection in the background. Yep, that's all that we need for now. Now from here, hit this arrow, this sideways arrow, and you'll find material. Click on material and under under diffuse, we're going to choose our image here. So this is the image we're going to shatter. You can use any image. I have this image saved for some reason, so I will use this image. And once you put it in, you might notice that it won't fit exactly how you want. That's just because it will automatically like crop it to your, so it fits your glass as well as it can. But you can always play with your UV repeat if you want it to fit better. So by changing this, you can get it to fit a bit better on your glass. Like there looks okay. Alright, 
So once we have that, let's continue on by going into diffuse color. And this is a sort of tint that will be added to your glass. You can have it any color if you want, maybe blue tint. But we're going to put it nice and white so that we can see it really clearly. And that'll brighten up your image if it's really dark or anything like that. Alright, once we have that done, go down into your reflection and refraction and play around with the intensities to get it how, however you really want it to be. If you want it more glass, more reflections, more shiny, I don't know, more transparent, you can play around with those intensities and you should get it to look however you really want it to look. It's up to you for this part. Play around with those intensities and the settings here. And after you're done making it look nice, like right now it looks pretty nice, just hit the OK button at the top and we'll continue on. So now we're going to start using the other stuff here, all this stuff. So the first thing is go into World Transform and just pull up the scale. Scale, 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 scale. Until it fits. So right here is OK, but... If you do want it to get your fit your comp, you can just pull it up a bit more. Doesn't matter. Alright, after we've done that, uh, go into your group 1 settings. And under particle look, find multi object. And we're going to enable that. So once we hit that, a bunch of stuff will pop up. We're only going to use a couple of it. So, a couple of these uh, settings. So first, hit the stopwatch for size to keyframe. Also for rotation, the last rotation, your displace, and your scatty, <clears throat> your scatter multi. Hmm. Yeah. So you should have size, rotation, displace, and scatter multi. And one more. So close particle look and go into particle replicator, and you'll find position Z. We're going to keyframe that. So just close that up. We don't need it anymore. Just hit U on your keyboard, and we'll see all the keyframes that we have put so far. So we have position Z, size, rotation, displace, and scatter. So we're going to grab all these. And go down however long you want your animation to be. And you're going to keyframe them all again. And this is where it gets really cool, because from here we can create our whole shatter effect. So using our displace, you'll immediately see that the pieces have shattered and are spreading apart. Your position Z is going to control your zoom. So if you wanted to zoom in, you'd put that in the negative so it zooms in towards the pieces. Your size is going to be the size of the pieces. So they're going to start out at the regular size, and when they get down to here, you can always size it down a bit to make it look nice. Just pull down the size a bit. Okay, that looks fine. Rotation is really cool, probably my favorite one, because as soon as we hit the rotation, a bunch of light, you'll see the reflections and stuff. You'll see all this light and reflections, and it looks really cool. So just bring that up a bit, and your scatter malt is going to add a little depth by moving your pieces around. So again, it doesn't have to go up by much, but it still makes it look really nice. Obviously, something went wrong. This should be at zero. Perfect. Let's just preview what we have so far. You can see our pieces are shattering, spreading apart, we're zooming in. There's some rotation in there. Yeah. So that's how we do the effect. Again, just play around with these settings to get it how, how you want it to look. And if you really wanted, although you don't have to, you can always right click on your keyframes keyframe assistant and easy ease all these and then one by one you can graph edit them depending on the speed that you want 
your position Z, how fast you want it to zoom in, when you want it to zoom in. So if I go like this, like that. Oops. No, okay, okay, like, like, just like that, just like this. Now you can see it zooms only a little bit now, then as this goes up, it'll zoom faster through the pieces. So you can play around with the graph editor in... Alright, so you guys can play around with the graph editor and get it to look how you want it to look. There are different ways you can do that. Oh, where'd it go? Alright, right there. Alright, and that's it. So, one more thing. Let me just go over. To YouTube, under my channel. So guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button right there. You know, if I could subscribe to myself, I would because just that cool. And if you guys have any questions about any of the effects that I use or any After Effects questions, just leave them in the comments and I will make a tutorial for them. What? All right, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, just leave a comment, just like this guy, this cool guy right here. Nice video. Could you please make another tutorial on that cool shatter effect? Oh, no, never mind. Can you please make a tutorial on that cool shatter effect? <laughs> All right, so just like this guy, leave comments, and I will try to make tutorials for you guys on some of the effects that I do use. Yeah, hit that like button. All right. Hope you guys learned something. Thanks.